Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss one of my favorite design changes of the recent years, the 2009 Lincoln Pennies. And there are four different designs. We've got this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we'll get into each of the designs, each of the mintages in this video. Now, you might have come across one of these before and not really understood what was going on. Well, this was all part of a commemorative series that was made to commemorate both the 200th anniversary of Lincoln being born and the 100th anniversary of Lincoln appearing on the front of the penny. So the Lincoln obverse of the penny, this side right here, the head side, went pretty much unchanged for about 100 years. So this side did not change in 2009. What they did was they changed up the back side of each one of these coins. They made four different ones. This one right here commemorates his birthplace. This one right here commemorates his formative years. This one right here, his professional life. And this one right here, his presidency. Now, as far as error coins that go, there are a couple that involve this one right here on the 2009 S proof coins. As you can see, Lincoln is holding a book in his hands right here. So the error coin involves the fingers of the hand which is holding the book. So we'll talk about that one a little bit once we discuss this coin right here. As far as the rarity of these coins, if you came across one of these coins thinking you found a super valuable coin, unfortunately these ones are a lot more common than you might realize. For the birthplace scent, there are a total of 634 million of these made. The formative ones, there are 739 million, 652 million, and 327 million. So in 2009, as many of you remember, the United States was going through a little bit of an economic recession, and the government and the mint actually cut back on their production of dimes and nickels, but they did not cut back on this uh, production of Lincoln pennies. I imagine these designs were in the uh, mint's process for a very long time, so they really wanted to make sure that these came out, so they decided to uh, stick with the plan, even though the economy was going through a little bit of a recession, and I'm glad they did. These are very nice looking coins. So I've isolated just the uh, first coin that came out, and as you can see, these two right here, side by side, they are the same coin. This is what's known as the birthplace scent. So this is the first one that came out in the series. And actually, first, let's talk a little bit about the value of these coins in total. Uh, in total, as I mentioned earlier, the mintages range from 327 million to 739 million. So there are a lot of these that were made. Unfortunately, they're not worth much today. There are people selling them on eBay for around a dollar, including the free shipping. So if you're selling something for a dollar and then you have to chip in 40 to 50 cents for the shipping. You're not going to make a lot of money selling these on eBay unless you can sell them in really high volumes and you've got your shipping process pretty well automated and low cost and low time. You're not going to make any money selling these on eBay. But if you come across these, my advice would be uh, to maybe give them to a coin collector friend of yours or try and build up your own set registry of them. So to get that set registry, you'll need one of each. And then once you do that, try and get one of each with one of each mint mark on them, uh, one from the Philadelphia and one for the Denver mint. Now your Philadelphia ones, in case you're unfamiliar, won't have a mint mark on the obverse. So this right here indicates Denver. This one right here doesn't have a mint mark that indicates Philadelphia. The Philadelphia ones don't have a mint mark because they were the first mint that came out. So they didn't decide it was necessary uh, because they were, only, they were the only business in town for a little while. All right, so we're looking at the first coin that came out. This one right here uh, commemorates Lincoln's uh, birth and early childhood in Kentucky, which encompassed the years of 1809 to 1816. As we see on the penny right here, we see 1809. That was the year that Lincoln was born and a uh, approximate image of the place he was probably born in or grew up in. Uh, so for the first uh, four new reverse designs for 2009 features Abraham Lincoln's life as a young boy in Kentucky where he was born in a log cabin. Uh, U.S. Mint Artistic Infusion Program master designer Richard uh, masters created this realistic design. So that's the, the design of the approximate log cabin that Lincoln was born in. 
All right, so we're going to uh, go on to the next one. This one's pretty simple design, so we don't need to uh, spend too much time on it. So after Lincoln lived in Kentucky for a little while, he moved to Indiana, and he was in Indiana from 1816 until 1830. So that's what's encompassed on these two coins right here. So we've got uh, Lincoln. He was splitting some logs. Now we took a moment to read a little bit. Most of Lincoln's education was self-taught, so that's what's being depicted here on the reverse of this coin. We've got a, a uh, log splitter, axe or maul right here, and then he's sitting on the log, and then he's got uh, this book in his hands. Now I'm going to isolate just one of these and zoom in. Now there are some errors that I mentioned. Um, there are numerous double design reverse reverses that appear on the Lincoln Cent for the formative year design. All are localized on the left hand, most often resulting in what appears to be an extra index finger or thumb. So if you've got one and you appear to have an extra index finger or a thumb, so we can see mine's got just one thumb right there. But if you look like, if it looks like yours has an extra index finger or thumb, you actually might have a variety that's mentioned in the Cherry Picker's Guide. Now these all vary in prices, but in an almost uncirculated condition, so uh, a little bit kind of like this. So almost uncirculated means it can still have some scratches. It means it's been through lightly circulated. Those are gonna be worth about $5 for those uh, different varieties and errors that are out there regarding the extra index finger or thumb for the formative years. And now on to 1830 to 1861, that brought us this coin right here. So this captures that uh, time period in Lincoln's life. This is his professional life. Uh, one thing about the new series of the pennant designs that will be good for the Americans is their educational value. For instance, if you'd asked me in 2008 where Abraham Lincoln was born, you'd probably have said uh, Illinois. But this kind of educates people that he was actually born in Kentucky, then moved to Indiana, and then moved to Illinois. So that's what's captured right here. Many of you may remember him being from Illinois, uh, but he was actually wasn't born there. He moved around a little bit there and then en ended up uh, settling there for work. And as you can see, uh, this encaptures him in his professional life. So he's no longer wearing uh, the log splitting kind of uniform or uh, attire that you would expect for that. He's looking much more professional in this one right here. So Lincoln was a lawyer as well as many uh, other things in Illinois. He served in the uh, state U.S., uh, excuse me, in the U.S. Senate, um, U.S. Senate. So that's what you see right here, representing Illinois. And then after he served in the U.S. Senate, that's when he uh, became president. So that's what the next coin captures right here. So we've got uh, the presidency years. That was from the years of 1861 until 1865. So what we see on the reverse of this coin right here is actually the U.S. Capitol building. It's under construction, uh, which was a somewhat controversial uh, design choice, actually, for this coin. Uh, many images can be used to portray the quintessential Lincoln as presidency archetyped, but the half-finished Capitol dome uh, certainly isn't one of them. Uh, so it's not really clear why they chose a half-finished Capitol dome uh, to encapture all the things that Lincoln accomplished while he was a president. And now uh, we have to uh, bring in actual coin. It's not dated 2009, but it's dated uh, 2010 and after. So prior to the Lincoln kind of redoing the Lincoln series, we had uh, this imagery right here, which was the Lincoln Memorial. And then starting in 2010 is when we introduced the shield reverse. So this one right here isn't actually dated 2010, but all of the reverse designs starting in 2010 and after will look just like this one right here. And we see the United States of America going across the top, E Pluribus Unum, so we'll see that on all the coins, and then we see one cent, and then we've got a shield with some uh, kind of vertical bars and lines going across it. Now the banner one cent going across this part right here of the shield kind of encaptures all of these uh, different colonies that are represented by the lines right here under one. So we've got this banner that captures all of the different colonies right here as one. So let's quickly uh, kind of recap what we looked at today. So we had the uh, most 
the last one that came out was this one right here, which captured his presidency. And as far as the mintages of this coin goes, this is going to have the lowest mintage of the entire series. So this one right here, there are only 327 million of these made in total, split about evenly between the Denver and the Philadelphia Mint. So if you're uh, still lurking, looking for one of them and you're having trouble finding it, this one right here is going to be the one that's going to be hardest to find. And then previous to that, we had the professional life, which is this one right here. We see uh, Lincoln wearing a long suit coat. He uh, was a senator from Illinois, as well as being a lawyer in Illinois as well. So that's what's captured with this right here. But Lincoln wasn't actually born in Illinois. He um, lived in Indiana prior to Illinois. So that's what's captured right here in his formative years. This one right here is formative years, has the highest mintage. So if you're coming across a lot of these and not sure why, that's the reason why. These ones right here, actually pretty high, highly produced, 739 million of them. And then to begin the entire series, we had this one right here uh, to capture his birthplace in Kentucky. We see the date 1809. So that was uh, when he was born. 200 years after that, he appeared uh, as when they started making these commemorative coins. So in 1909, Lincoln appeared on the uh, obverse of the Lincoln scent, obverse of the scent to replace the Indian head scent. And then 100 years after that, they switched it up the design on the reverse and they started making these cool reverse designs. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you are into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thank you very much, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.